Hey everybody, um, now what we're going to look at is we're going to look at writing expressions with negative exponents and we're going to look at basically two different kinds of cases. So the first case we're going to look at is kind of a continuation of what I tried to prove to you in the last video. So um, if you watched that, you saw that we wound up in this place where we could say that x to the negative ninth power is the same thing is taking that and writing the reciprocal of that, and then when you write the reciprocal of it, that negative exponent becomes positive. All right, so let's look at some examples of, of uh, that in play. So let's start with this first one. We have seven to the negative two power. Okay, well, I know from the rule that I write the multiplicative inverse or the reciprocal of this number to its nth power. So if this is the negative n power, the nth power would be basically writing the same thing, but with positive exponent. But I'm writing the reciprocal of it. So 1 over 7, that's the multiplicative inverse, to the nth power. So I'm going to write to the second power. Okay, let's try another one. If I have b to the, and I'm going to write this in another color, to the negative 4 power, that's going to be the same thing as writing 1 over b. Okay, and then now i got to deal with this negative 4, right? Well, this negative 4, it becomes, it's going to become positive and we're going to move it. So it's, you notice how it's always staying with the, with the base, right? So it never leaves the base. It always stays with it. It's not like it's going to stay up here with the 1. That's not going to happen. Right, so it becomes, let me rewrite that, 1 over b to the fourth power. All right, let's, uh, let's try two more examples like that. So let's try, um, here's sort of a, a little review question for you. 5 to the 0 power. All right, well that's not really negative or positive. 0 is sort of like a gate that stands between, you know, the positive and the negative world. So 5 to the 0 power, if you remember, anything to the 0 power equals 1. So that is how you simplify 5 to the 0 power, is you would rewrite that just simply as 1. All right, and then if we have m to the negative third, again, we're going to write that as inverse with a positive exponent. So the inverse of m to the negative third would be 1 over and to the third power. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to look at a couple examples, and I'm going to change colors here, is we're going to look at some examples where basically we're kind of going backwards of what we've been doing. So I'll just, I'll dive right into it, and I think you'll see what I'm talking about. What if I write this 1 over 8 to the third? And basically by writing it backwards, I mean I want to write this using negative exponents because sometimes that's useful all right and when you get into algebra in your freshman year and you'll start writing writing expressions and you're simplifying things you'll see where this comes in handy so if you've got one over eight to the third power all right this the multiplicative inverse of this right with of one eighth would just be eight and then because it was to the third power, and now we're taking the multiplicative inverse of it, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make that exponent negative. And then if you can go back to the way it was, 1 over a to the third, you know you did it right. Okay? So that would give you 8 to the negative third power, which is what we want. All right, let's try another one. All right, let's try 1 over 4. Well... Some of you might be saying, well, Mr. Simons, you know, there's, and there's actually two different ways to do this. I can, one-fourth, well, you could rewrite this as one over four to the one power, in which case you would write this as four to the negative one, all right? Because four is the, is the multiplicative inverse of one-fourth, and then your exponent comes up and it becomes negative. Another way of writing this is we can also write 1 fourth as 1 over 2 squared, right? Because 2 times 2 gives me 4. So that would give me 2 to the negative 2 power because 2 is the multiplicative inverse of 1 half 
And then that two comes up top with the two because remember it always stays with the base and it becomes negative two. All right, let's try two more examples. All right, we have one over C to the fifth power. All right, so again, we're just gonna move that C up to the top and then this is going to become negative multiplicative inverse, and then it becomes basically the opposite of what the exponent was before. All right, and then the last one, we have 1 27th. So that, this is like that 1 4th example. So I could either write this as 1 over 27 to the first power, or I could write it as 1 over 3 to the third power. So 1, 1 over 27 to the first power, if I rewrite that using a negative exponent, it's going to give me 27 to the negative 1 power, and then this one would give me 3 to the negative 3rd power. So hopefully you are seeing, going through this, basically besides the fact that I'm apparently getting messages right now, hopefully you are seeing that what basically all you're doing is you're keeping the number that is associated with as the base of this power, you're keeping the number the same, you're just, it's switching positions from the denominator to the numerator. And when it does, the exponent goes from either being a positive to a negative or a negative to a positive, depending on what it is. Because sometimes you'll see an example like one over two to the negative third power. So if you see something like that, you're still gonna do the same thing where you're gonna move the two up top and then this was a negative three, so this would become positive. So you'll see, you'll see problems like that too, where they try to trick you all right, but that's the basic idea of how this negative exponent thing works.